everybody. Um, well, we have had a lot of things happen um, since we last talked, and um, I'm super excited um, that you guys are going to be on here and um, help me out. So, with that being said, um, we have um, a lot going on. I, I am going to need your help, and I have a volume issue, so there we go. Okay, so this is going to be a mystery. Um, I'm going to need your guys' help, and um, I'm hoping that we can find Derek. I am super um, worried about Derek, and um, we need to find some clues. So if you guys are able to um, help me uh, through these clues, we are going to hopefully in the end find Derek. So as we go along, I need you guys to um, comment, let me know um, what you think, so that way um, we can solve this, okay? So, let's get started. Uh, did anybody read my um, newspaper article? I did call the, the police department last night. I let them know. Um, actually, I might have called them a lot more than once, I have to admit. Um, I may have called five times, maybe. I'm not sure. Anyways. I'm not sure that they have been listening, um, and so I really just want to check in and see if um, if they have. So I don't know. Let's let's just start off with um, let's call the the chief of police here in um, Belleville. What do you guys think? Sorry, I mean Concordia. So let's call the the um, chief real quick. Let's see if I can find his number. Um, hmm. Okay, guys, let's see what he has to say. Hi, Chief, this is Kim. Hi, this is Chief Fredrickson. What can I do for you? Hey, this is Kim. Yes, Kim, how'd you get my cell number? Like dispatch told you the last 10 times that you've called in, we took the report that Derek the Unicorn is missing. Officers are following up on any leads. The last thing we know is that he was seen by the park. Hey, you did notice that I stopped my car to FaceTime. It's better to be safe than sorry. It is. And also, don't forget about the governor's order. You need to stay home, so there's no reason for you to go out. Okay. Thanks, Chief. Bye. Bye. Okay, so let's think about what he said. He said he was last seen um, by the park, right? So I wonder, I wonder what's by the park. Um, any anybody know? Um, man, I wish I had some clues. Um, let's see. Um, oh, you know what? Nikki gave me this, this folder and it had clues in it, but I didn't understand what it meant. Let's look. Clue two. Hmm. Well, Mm, no. Huh. Oh. Oh. I got him. Quentin. Got who? What do you mean this isn't him? No. How many unicorns does this town have? I don't know. I caught this guy trying to get lunch at the park. Those lunches are for kids. Human kids. Ages 1 to 18. Wait, that's it. He must have been hungry. Hungry. Maybe we should try his favorite restaurant. Thanks, Quentin. No problem. Bye, Kim. Bye, Quentin. That must have been what they meant by the park. They've been doing those school lunches at the park. So if Quentin thinks he was hungry. 
Um, let's, let's, let's look through those clues then now. Let me see where I put those. I know Nikki gave them to me. Let's see. Um, oh, here's one. Hmm. Okay, here it is. So this is clue one about his favorite restaurants. Okay. So the first one is F and A Foods. They're great. I don't think that they serve food. I know that they have food. Huh. I know they sell lots of things there. Lots of good food. Okay, so then the second one, Easy G's. They have great hamburgers. And I like their french fries. And I like their salads. I think I like lots of things there. So that's a good place. I'm pretty sure Derek likes that place. Does anybody else like Easy G's? And then Subway. Oh, what does it say? Uh-oh. I know he likes Subway, but it says here that they're closed until further notice. So if Subway is closed and F&A doesn't serve food, I wonder if he was at Easy G's. Hmm. This is harder than I thought. Does anybody know? Does anybody think that we should... Does anybody know who works at EZG's? Let's see, who is that that's there? Um, I think that's Maddie. I don't have Maddie's cell phone. Hmm. Wait, I think I have Ty's phone number. Maybe let's just call Ty. Okay, so let me see. Ty's number is 785. Um... Hey, Ty. Easy G's, this is Ty. How can I help you? Hey, this is Kim. Um, have you seen Derek the Unicorn? I've been looking for it. Oh, hi, Kim. You know, since we started our new hours here at Easy G's, 11.30 to 8.30, delivery or carry out, I haven't seen Derek. And this is odd, since every Wednesday is Wing Wednesday, and all orders are a dollar off. You know, a few days ago, there was a guy picking up a to-go order. I can't remember his name, but he said he worked at Glen Elder Radio Station. He was talking about seeing a unicorn, but he didn't think they had any unicorns living in the area. I don't know if this helps. Hey, Ty, that does help. Thank yep. you. Yep. Bye. Bye. Hmm. Well, I don't think that there's a lot in Glen Elder. And he said radio station, but I don't know the guy's name. Maybe I should look at another clue. Um, well, let me see what else I can find. Does anybody know the radio stations in Glen Elder? Or any guys that work there? Hmm. Well, let's look at this. Um, okay, so the top one, that's a radio station. But it looks like it's in Beloit. I don't think that's the same as Glen Elder. Um, well, the second one, that's, that's something in Glen Elder, but it's a community club. I don't think that that's a radio station. Um, the last one, that looks like the radio station in Glen Elder. Oh, wait. I know somebody who works there. I think it's, it's Wade. I, I think I have Wade's number. 
I wonder if Wade has seen him. Well, I don't know if Wade went to Easy G's, but I guess we could call him. Let me think about what his number is. Um, Wade. Um, 785. Katie Country hey. 94, this is Wade. Hey, hey Wade, this is Kim. Uh, we're always staying busy here at Katie Country 94 and Z96.3 The Lake. We're keeping our communities informed, whether it be local news, weather, sports. We just finished updating a story for our local website, katiecountry94.com. Oh, wow. Well, I was talking to Ty at EZG's in Concordia, and he was telling me someone from your area was there a few days ago and mentioned a unicorn. And I didn't know if that was you. Yep, that was me. The strangest thing. I was driving to work. It was really early, and I was tired. Maybe around 6 a.m., I think it was, when I saw a unicorn walking in a Plum Creek restaurant in Beloit. Wow. I remember because I didn't think we had any unicorns in our area anymore. So you might try there. Sorry, that's all I know and all I can give you right now. Oh, no, no, that helps. Thank you. Bye. Good luck and take care, everyone. Thanks. Hmm. Plum Creek. Um, gosh. Plum Creek. I don't, I don't know what Plum Creek is. Did he say it was in Glendelder? Or did he say Beloit? Jeez, I really need to listen better or take notes. Um, did anybody else hear? I don't know. Um, maybe, maybe I should look at the clues again. I wonder what he's doing in, in Beloit or at that place, Plum Creek. Uh, um, let's see. Let's look at the next clue, I guess. Hmm. Okay. So, here is, um, it looks like a Plum Creek, but I, I don't know if you'd go into a chicken place and and I don't know I don't know that that's it um, the next one that looks like it's a restaurant and and it says Beloit mm, that seems like more of a place that you go into hmm the other one well it's Plum Creek it's a school and and it's not around here. Hmm. And if Wade was on his way to work and he's in Glen Elder and that's next to Beloit, I wonder if it's the Plum Creek restaurant. Hmm. Has anybody ever been to the Plum Creek restaurant? I hear it's really yummy. Hmm. Well, I wonder if Anybody knows the Plum Creek restaurant number? Let me, maybe is it on here? I bet it's on here. Yep, okay. So, I guess maybe we should call. Okay. Um, gosh. Let's see if Plum Creek's open. Um. Hello, Plum Creek restaurant, this is Lacey. Hi, Lacey. This is oh. Kim. And um, mm -hmm. I have a strange question. Um, somebody hmm. saw my unicorn walking in around 6 a.m. to hmm. your building, maybe? Well, that is impossible. Our current hours at Plum Creek Restaurant here in Beloit are 5 to 9, Monday through Saturday. There's no way that Derek was here eating at that hour in the morning. Whoever said that must not be telling the truth. I've seen Derek in here before. He enjoys the Big Rick Burger. Um, but, you know, that was almost two weeks ago, actually. And I remember it because it was the first day of spring. If you want to know my opinion, mm -hmm. whoever kidnapped him, they would need a getaway car. Oh, yeah, no problem. Thank you. Bye. Bye.
Hmm. So, Wade did say he was really tired. So, maybe, maybe he just was wrong on the time? I don't know. Um, but he has been there before. So, and she said getaway car. Well, does anybody know where there's a place to get cars in Beloit? I feel like there's a lot of them. Hmm. Well, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think Derek can drive. Hmm. Well, I guess maybe we, we look at another clue. Hmm. Let's see. I guess this clue. It's next. So let's see. Um, well, there's a junkyard. Um, that doesn't look like it would run very well. Hmm. Oh, then there's Beloit Auto and Truck Plaza. I know Jessa Lee, she works there. Oh, and Can Cycle. Those are all over our counties. They're places that you can go and rent bikes and, and, and just borrow them, actually, and ride around and then return them. It's been kind of nice, but I think they're locked up for right now. Um, well, I guess if he was going to go very far either, I don't know that he would ride a bike. What do you think? Should I look at the bike places? Or, I don't think the junkyard. I don't know. I guess I could call Jessa Lee because I do know her. Hmm. Anybody else have any ideas? Let's see if I can remember her number. Um, seven, eight, five. Um, there. Hi, Jessie. Hi, Kim. This is Jessie from Below Dot Iron Truck Plaza. How are you doing today? I'm good. How have you been? I'm looking for Derek. He's missing. Have you sold hmm. a vehicle to a unicorn lately? Well, we have sold a few vehicles this week. I mean, we do have some really good deals going on right now. We have Ford Truck Month. We have Ram Truck Month. We have a Jeep celebration event going on right now at Beloit Auto and Truck Plaza. I mean, oh, well, what was your question again? Oh, did we sell anything to a unicorn? Well, no, Kim, I don't really know the unicorn. I mean, my girls draw unicorns a lot. So, I mean, and I do got some unicorn hair going on right now. But I'm sorry, I've never seen a unicorn. But I did see this one fella, and he was acting really strange. You know, like he had something to hide. He did end up taking part of the Jeep celebration event, though, so he's all right with me. He bought a Jeep Gladiator. He bought that white one. You know that white one? I really, really like that white one. And he told me that he was heading to Washington for the day. I remember thinking, Washington, D.C. is a long way to drive, but he does have a nice Jeep to drive it in, uh, just to stay for the day. I mean, just for the day. He was definitely a strange fella. Hmm. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hmm. Well, they have a lot of good deals going on, and somebody did buy a white Jeep. But she didn't see a unicorn. So I don't know if I need to... Oh, man. This is lots harder. I wonder if I should call the chief of police back and ask him if they've heard anything else. I mean, it has been like 20 minutes. Do you think he'd take my call again? He didn't seem very happy that I called his cell phone. Hmm. I could call dispatch, but when I called the 10th time, they did tell me it was the 10th time and that they would get back to me. So I don't know that they wanted me to call an 11th time. They did say they were busy doing other things than taking phone calls from me. So, 
I don't know if I should call them again. Hmm. So let's think about what we, we know. Jesse said some guy said he was going to Washington. And Washington, D.C. is really far away. And I don't know anybody in Washington, D.C. And she said, um, what else did she say? She said a lot of stuff. Jeez. Um, well, let's think of any places that are close to Washington. Seriously. The counties that I serve are Republic, Cloud, Jewel, Lincoln, and Washington County. Maybe it wasn't Washington, D.C. Maybe it was Washington County. That would make sense, right? Um, okay, so I wonder, I don't know how to find out what he did if he did go to Washington, D.C. I mean Washington County. I don't think it was probably Washington, D.C. Let's see if any of our clues help because I'm kind of stuck. Does anybody know places in Washington, Kansas? Um, let's see. Oh, yep. Looks like these clues are for Washington, Kansas. So maybe we're on to something. So The top one is the Washington County Sheriff's Department. I could keep calling them. I mean, the chief of police here and dispatch here said I should stop calling or not call so much, but I haven't talked to their dispatch yet, so I could call them. Um, Washington Bowl. That sounds fun. I wonder if Derek would go bowling. Assisted dogs for p helping people. Derek does like to help people, and he does like dogs. But wait, the only thing we know is that they le possibly left in a white Jeep. So who of these three would see vehicles coming in and out? Well, if they're training the dogs... I don't know. I think they would be busy with the dogs. I don't know that the dogs would pay attention to the cars. I mean, except to bark at them and run. So, I don't know that the assistant's dog um, would be much help in this. I mean, they are awesome and they do help a lot of people, but I don't think they're going to help us find Derek. Mm, the bowling alley sounds fun. But I think if I was in the bowling alley, I would want to bowl and eat snacks and bowl. I don't think I'd be paying attention to the cars. Um, I think the sheriff's department, I think part of their thing is to pay attention to the cars. So maybe, maybe, um... Maybe, well, somebody did say I should call the police, so, and again, I don't think Chief Fredrickson wanted me to call him back, so let's just call the Sheriff's Department, but I don't know anybody's cell phone there. Sometimes I don't think they want to give that to me. I'm not sure why. I mean, maybe because I call a lot. Um, maybe I could look up their number. Let me, let me... I'm just going to put you on speakerphone, okay? So hold on. Um, their number is... It's going to be loud. Sorry. Hello, Washington County Sheriff's Department. Hi. Um, can I talk to um, the sheriff, uh, Condry? Um, no, he's not in right now. Can I take a message? <sighs> Well, I'm Kim, and I really wanted to talk to him because, um, well, we have, 
a unicorn that's missing. Tim, he is out reminding residents to stay home unless absolutely necessary. He knows that you are out looking for your unicorn. He's got all of your messages, but he hasn't seen the vehicle you're talking about. He's told all of his deputies to keep an eye out for him and to let him know right away. He's confident that if there had been a unicorn in his county, he'd already know about it. Okay, well, if you hear anything, would you hey, let hey, me what, know? What was that? What? What? Hold on, Kim. Um, a unicorn? You saw a unicorn where? She said a unicorn. What? Jenny Pocka. Jenny oh, Pocka. I'm sorry, Kim. I gotta go. Wait, wait. Uh, uh. Oh, she hung up. Okay, so maybe I fibbed. Maybe I had left a few messages for the sheriff, but he won't call me back. So technically, is that calling? I mean, I just left some messages or a few. Okay, so, but did you hear what she said? Besides that they were looking and that I called too many times. Um, there was, somebody saw a unicorn and she hung up because she didn't want me to hear. So, she also said that somebody's name and they saw them. I really do need to listen better. Um, or take notes. I think it was... Hakta. Why does that name sound familiar? I feel like I feel like I should know that. Um hmm. So the counties that we're in normally and the ones that Derek has been going to are Washington County. Lincoln County, Cloud County, Jewel County, and Republic County. Hmm. Sorry, Sheila, I didn't mean to fib. So, well, oh, I know somebody with the last name of Pacta, and they're in. Republic County. I think they own a farm. I th her name is Jenny. Yep, Jenny Pacta. And and they have a farm in Republic County. I don't have her cell phone either. I I wonder I wonder if I should just call her. Um yeah, I feel like I feel like I should just call her on the phone again. I mean, are you guys good with listening again? I mean, sorry, it's kind of loud. I don't know what else to do. Okay, so let me look up her number, and we'll just call Jenny Pocta. Maybe if it's not her, she'll know somebody else, right? Okay, so hold on. It's going to be loud. Sorry. It's ringing. Hi, can I talk to Jenny Paka? Um, she's not here. This is Karen. I'm a hired hand. Can I help you? Well, this is Kim, and I was just talking to the sheriff in Washington County, well, actually his secretary, and I heard, overheard Jenny's name being mentioned and something about a unicorn. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Me and Anna were over in Washington County picking up our cat Frank. We had never seen a unicorn before, and so I figured we should probably report it. We followed that car all the way to Belleville. We've been so busy here at the farm, I had forgotten we even saw him. But when we last saw him, he was turning into Dairy Queen. Ooh. And I know because Waylon was there. Waylon? Okay. Well, well, thanks so much for helping, and, and, and I'll call back if I have any other questions. All right. Have a good day. Bye. Wow. Okay. So now we know that Jenny, well, or Karen and Anna were in... Washington and they were picking up their Cal Frank so and they said they drove all the way back and and what did they say gosh I really do need to listen better they drove back and they were driving by someplace did they say a bank oh geez Maybe you guys should take notes for me because I think that there's just too much going on. Wait, did they say Dairy Queen? I remember food. 
because ice cream sounds really good and I like Dairy Queen a lot in their blizzards. Mm. So, Dairy Queen. Oh, and she said something about Waylon, and I know Waylon. Waylon works at the chamber office in Belleville, so that would make sense. Waylon. Oh, and guess what? I have Waylon's cell phone number. Maybe we should just call Waylon, and if I'm wrong, maybe he knows who was at Dairy Queen. Or was it Dairy Queen? Yeah. Well, let's just call Waylon, because I feel like that's the best thing. Let me look at his number, though. Oh, here it is. Hey, Bubble Chamber and Main Street members, it's Waylon. Hey, this is Kim. How's it going? Oh, you know, there's quite a bit going on right now, you know, considering I know a lot of the restaurants are open. Uh, they're doing curbside or delivery. You know, most of them, um, be sure to... Be sure to support them. Give them some business. Um, they definitely need it right, right now, and their food is as good as ever. Hey, so I'm just, I'm, I'm glad for that because we really want to be there. But Jenny told me you were at Dairy Queen the other day, and something about a unicorn? Like, I don't you know. know if you. I was there picking up my lunch the other day. I did see a guy in a unicorn in a white Jeep. Oh. The guy looked a little shady, if you ask me. I. I went to eat my lunch in the park, and I saw Sydney riding her bike. Uh, uh -huh. She said that she'd just seen the unicorn, but she said something about he was in trouble. I don't know. I don't know what he meant by that. I was just, I just knew my fries were getting cold. Hope that helps. It does. Thanks, Waylon. I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Hmm. So Waylon, it was him. He said a white Jeep, so that makes sense. And Karen said that they saw the white Jeep. He said he was a Dairy Queen and the guy looked a little shady. <sighs> so, I, I don't know what to do now. Hmm. Well, he said he saw somebody riding a bike. Did anybody catch the person's name? I feel like it started with a a J? Hmm. Um, I feel like I should know this. Well, whoever it was, they were riding a bike and they said somebody got in trouble. Hmm. Oh, wait. Did he say Sydney? Oh, Sydney, you're right. Thanks, Sheila. Sydney. So, Sydney. I wonder. I wonder if that's the Sydney I know, because I know Sydney Llewellyn. I guess I could call Sydney and, and ask her if she was riding her bike and saw a unicorn. You guys got a minute? We'll just call. Hold on. Let me look up her number. Hello? Hey, Sydney. This is Kim. I'm good. How are you? I'm live with all the kids. Why don't you introduce yourself? Hi everyone, I'm Sydney Llewellyn and I am a senior at Republic County High School. Um, I really do miss school. I would never think that I'd ever say that, but I do. I miss my friends a lot as I don't get to see them as much and I really hate the fact that I cannot play softball. That makes me really sad, but I know all in the end that um, everything will be okay. Well, thanks, Sydney, and it really is a bummer that you guys can't go through school and finish off. But the reason yes, I'm calling um, is about Waylon. Actually, I saw Chief Springer, and he pulled over a white Jeep, um, and the Chief did not look happy at all. So I just knew that they were getting in trouble for something. Um, I haven't seen him since. Do you think that could have been Derek? Oh, my gosh, I don't know. But thank you, Sydney, and bye. No problem. I hope you find him soon. Me bye. too. Bye-bye. So it was her that saw Waylon. She said she saw the white Jeep. She said they were getting in trouble because the chief didn't look happy. So I truthfully have not called this chief to ask about Derek, but I do have his cell phone. So I think we should just call him. I mean, I don't know how else to find out where Derek's at. And if he was in trouble, that worries me. And it was the white Jeep, so I really think it's the same people. 
Well, let's just call Chief Springer from Belleville and see what was going on. Let me get his number. Hey, Hello, I just talked Belleville to Police Department. Hey, I just talked to Sydney. She said you pulled over a white Jeep the other day with a unicorn. Not you too. I've had more calls about that unicorn. People wanted to know why he was driving around. I finally stopped the driver and asked if he needed some help. He acted very odd and asked where he could get a disguise. I don't know what he was talking about. The Jeep drove south out of town. The next thing I know, I hear a deputy in Clyde saying he saw him go into Cypher's jewelry. All I know is we would like everyone to stay safe and stay at home and get through this trying time together. Awesome. Well, thank you, Chief Springer. Thank you. Bye. Have a good day. Bye. Hmm. Well, I think the Chief's getting irritated with people asking about the unicorn, but this time it wasn't me. Okay. So, what do we know? Um, well, we know that he was in Belleville. We know that the chief talked to him, or the jeep, whoever. I guess he didn't say he talked to Derek, did he? And then he said that they left south and went to, oh my goodness, again, maybe I need Nikki's help because I can't remember what he said. They went south, so if you're in Belleville, and you drive south. Is that the direction when you go to Nebraska? Hmm. I, I can't remember. So, I, I feel like south. But then he said something else. That, that he heard another deputy and he called out in a town. I think it started with... Mm, was it a J? Hmm. So he called out into a town and then he went somewhere. There's so many things in this. I just, I can't remember them all. No, I think he went, no, he did go south. Oh, Clyde. He went to Clyde. Deputy said he went to Clyde. I guess that's south. Uh, so he went to Clyde and he went to... A place in Clyde. Does anybody know places in Clyde? I think it started with a J. Clyde. I've been to Clyde. It's a nice place. They have the watermelon festival there. Do you guys know about that? It's really fun. Oh, I know where he went. They said they went to Cypher's Jewelry because of a disguise. Remember the disguise he wanted? Okay, so Cypher's Jewelry... I know Don and Mark, and I have their cell phone. They didn't tell me I couldn't call, so I guess I can call them. Um, let me look up their number. Surely they're not busy. <laughs> I can touch my face, Sheila, because I'm by myself, and I can use hand sanitizer. See? I'm going to hand sanitize right now. And uh, touch my face. Okay, Seifert's Jewelry. So, the number, I got it. Okay. So let's call and see if Don and Mark are there. And I keep using the wrong mouse. Not Mark. Okay. So, here's Seifert's. Let's call them real quick. I think they should probably answer. Hello hey. from Cypher Jewelry. This is Don. Hey, um, I was calling. To, I just talked to Chief Springer, and he said that you might have seen a unicorn. Oh yeah, that unicorn. So you saw him? Now who's calling about that unicorn? That guy that was with him sure was odd. Yeah, I agree. There was something about him. He asked if we had disguises for sale. 
You know, I told him we could pierce his ears, sell him some diamond earrings, put a birthstone ring on his hand or some diamond engagement ring, maybe a nice watch, but sure wouldn't change his looks much, but sure make him look good. Mm -hmm. I told him we don't have disguises for sale here. We only have blingy things and things that bring out your natural beauty. I told him to go see Jamie Lukey over at the salon. Oh, I haven't seen him since. Hope awesome. that helps. It does. Thanks, guys. Bye. 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 Okay. So they told him when they got to Cypher's Jewelry that they didn't have disguises because he wanted a disguise, right? And then, then they told him to go to see somebody. I think it started with a J. And it was a salon. <sighs> um, well, it was right in town. Oh, yes. Scott and Dawn. Sorry. Um, so... They were supposed to call Jamie. Jamie at the salon. So let me look up and see if I can find Jamie's phone number because I bet Jamie would answer. Let's see. Hmm. I cannot find Jamie's phone number in here. That's not good. So hold on, let's look this up. Oh, I know why. Hold on, I'm gonna have to go look for it and Nikki's going to come over here and hang out with you guys, right Nikki? I have to look her number up. Does anybody else know Jamie? I'm going to see if I can get her number. So I wonder why they would go to a salon though. I mean, that makes no sense. I mean, do salons do disguises? It's a little confusing. But, you guys have been very helpful. And this is taking longer than I want it to to find her number. Do you understand the number problem? Nikki's helping me look for her number. It didn't get put in there. I'm still looking. I'm texting somebody that might know. Okay. We are looking hard. And it is not coming up. I swear. So, I need to know, does anybody think that they know who kidnapped Derek? Does anybody know anybody that has the white Jeep? It didn't go and that's the problem. Anybody? Because I really, really need your help. Well, I'm just wondering what in the heck Derek is doing with 
everybody or if he's safe that's my worry and this is so irritating me and we thought this would be flawless yeah so for some reason I can't find it but I have her on my other phone how about I just do it there Are you guys good with that so Hi, Jamie. This is Kim, and I was just talking to Cyphers, and they talked about you maybe seeing a unicorn. I'm actually hanging out at home. I was at the shop earlier today, uh, just thinking about everybody out there. Um, it's been a really long week, not being able to see and uh, take care of my clients. Um, we are sure looking forward to when this coronavirus settles down, we can go back to work and. Um, get to see all of our wonderful people um, that we love so much. Uh, I hope everybody's doing well out there as well and staying home like we're supposed to. <laughs> I uh, just want to just let everybody know I'm really thinking of them. Well, the reason I called was, um, have you seen a unicorn? Oh, yeah, I had a unicorn come in, all right. The guy that was with him wanted me to change his purple mohawk to another color. And then they said, well, do you have anything else for a disguise? And so I said, well, you know, it's cold outside. So I threw him a scarf and said, put this on and uh, stay warm. <laughs> it was sure an odd pair. Then they asked where they could get a window fixed in town. And I said, hmm, the only place I know that could fix a window is in Concordia. And you're going to have to get a hold of Kelly Jackson. I, I hope that that helps. Hey, Jamie, that really helps a lot. Thank you. Bye. Oh, my goodness. I'm so glad I had my cell phone because that would not have worked otherwise. Okay, so Kelly Jackson. I'm confused because I know Kelly. And, um, well, I, I don't think she sells windows because I'm pretty sure she works in a store. So I'm really confused. But I do have Kelly's cell phone, so I'm just going to call her because um, we really wasted a lot of time on, um, you know, trying to figure out the other one. Hey, Kelly. Oh, hey, guys. I'm Kelly from Corner Liquor. Hey, Kelly, I'm so confused. Somebody from oh, Clyde said well, you have windows. Well, that's because we own both Corner Liquor and Jackson's Glass Shop. Oh. Is this about that funny guy with the unicorn? Yes. That was a really strange conversation. They came into the store, and the man said that they needed a window fixed. So I tried out my mad joke skills, and I said, Did your unicorn's horn go through your glass? What do you say? Long silence. Oh. So I started telling him if no one was at the glass shop to call and leave a message because sometimes the guys have to go out and do a job. That makes sense. Then in walks another customer because our hours here have temporarily changed and we're closing every night at 7 except for Friday and then we close at 9. So more people are coming in earlier and that seemed to scare him. Oh. But as he was walking out I heard him say something about tacos. Tacos? That's all I know. I'm really sorry I couldn't be of more help. Nope. Thanks a lot. Bye, Okay, Kelly. bye. Tacos? Did she say anything else? Because all I remember is tacos. Maybe it's because I like tacos. Huh. Okay, so... He has some kind of broken window, but it doesn't sound like he got it fixed. And something about tacos... You know, I think we have another clue, and I'm not sure where to get tacos, so I'm going to just look at the clue, and maybe, maybe that'll help. Oh, I see a taco, so I'm guessing this is our clue. Okay, so the top one is the Concordia School. Um, I guess they have tacos. Then it is the Concordia Bowling Alley, Thunderstrike. I 
I don't know that they sell tacos there. And then Taco John's. I like Taco John's. And they definitely have tacos there. They have lots of tacos. And then they have those churros. Oh my goodness, those churros. So I'm not sure which one I should check out if they wanted tacos. I mean, maybe the bowling alley does have tacos. I don't think the school was open. I mean, Quentin didn't say anything about having tacos today or the other day. So where do you think we should try for the taco? Taco John's? Your dad takes you there? Well, Kaylee, maybe that's where we should go and see if they have tacos. Does anybody know anybody who works at Taco John's? I mean, I've been there a lot and and Barrett, he he's fun and they have the whole crew together and they, they like like hang out. But I don't know if I know anybody else's phone number. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I know Barrett's phone number. I'll just call Barrett. Hold on, let me let me look up that number. Let's see what Barrett has to say. Taco John's, this is Barrett. Hey Barrett, this is Kim. Oh, hey Kim. How are things? Well, we've been uh, we've been really well. Um, oh, we've been promoting our full up menu, which has our taco perfecto, our quesadilla tacos. Mm -hmm. Most recently, our boss burritos and bowls, like they're huge. Um, but yeah, we've had a lot of new uh, a lot of new menu items recently, and um, we're having a lot of fun making them. Ha! Huh. That sounds really good, and I'm glad that you're busy. The reason I'm calling is to see if you've seen a unicorn recently because I've lost mine. You know, it's funny you ask. Um, we were just talking about the unicorn mm -hmm. and this guy who came through uh, like three times in 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, the first time the guy ordered, um, it looked like the unicorn was pouting. Um, then a little bit later they came back through and the unicorn wanted more tacos and he asked me if we had anything rainbow flavored to eat. So I laughed because I thought he was kidding, but he just, he just stared at me. Um, so I, I, I didn't really know what to say as far as rainbow flavored, but, um, you know, we have different sauces. So I was like, well, maybe we can put some of our chipotle sauce and super hot and, you know, make something colorful. Uh, so he went ahead and ordered that, um, some nachos with that on top. But then, uh, you know, the third time they ordered a bunch of our churro bites and our donut bites and, uh, I'd never seen them before. Huh. Oh yeah. And, um, uh, I think the driver's name, um, started with a T. Tea? But I I can't remember for sure. Uh, okay. Well, thanks, Barrett. Right, bye. Talk to you later. Okay. Well, one, they ate a lot of stuff. If they went through the drive-through three times, and ate tacos and all those desserts, and wow, I would say that they are um, packing on the quarantine pounds. So. Um, really we didn't get much information except it didn't sound like Derek was very happy when they went the first time. Of course, when he went through the second time, he seemed like he was okay. Um, but the driver's name started with a T. Guys, I feel like we're running out of ideas and I'm out of clues and I don't know what to do and uh, you know what? It is almost time for um, my staff meeting and um, I don't know if you guys can hold on just for a second while I um, uh, go to my staff meeting um, because I, I don't want to like stop looking for Derek but uh, I, I really need to to go to the staff meeting for just a minute and I'll hurry. I, I'll just fill them in. Can you guys just kind of come and, and I'll, um, this conference you. will now be recorded. This conference will um, now be recorded. I think that we are here. Hey everybody, if you guys can hear me and go ahead and introduce yourselves, um, that would be great. I'm Tony Miller. I'm the CASA advocate supervisor and I'm working from home today. I'm Jennifer Kendall. I'm the family advocate. I'm working from home too. Well, 
I'm Nikki Henderson. I'm the office manager, and I'm in my office. Let me see if I can get my sound back on my crew here. Dang it. Okay, well, let's try that again. Because for some reason, it did not save. Okay, let's see. It's the joys of This conference will now be recorded. This conference will now be recorded. Let me get the sound. I don't see it on there. I'm Tony Miller. I'm the CASA Advocate Supervisor, and I'm working from home today. I'm Jennifer Kendall. Oh, I'm the Family Advocate. I'm working from home, too. I'm Nikki Henderson. I'm the office manager, and I'm in my office. And you guys missed Tony. Sorry. He introduced himself, and he's our um, person so that does our um, um, CASA. So, you guys, we are... Oh, Tony, your camera's not working. I don't know what's wrong. Okay. Well, it's back now. It's good. So, don't worry about it. I got it, I think. Yeah, so it's it's good. Okay. So anyways, what I was saying is that um, we're still looking for Derek. Oh, it went out again. But we're just going to keep doing our staff meeting real quick, okay? So, um... Um, I think it's broken. It's okay. We're just, we're just going to go ahead. Oh, there's back. We're just going to keep moving on. We have kids watching and we want to move on. So, hey, um... You know, we're looking for Derek. We're really super upset. We have been looking all day and we have no clue. Hey! That's Derek. What? Tony, I see you. I see Derek. They can't see us. Yes, we can. It's okay. Does everybody see Derek? Look, he's right there. Uh, what? We you can see you. Can? Can, you can you hear me too? Yes. Have you had Derek the whole time? We've been worried sick. I'm I'm sorry. I do have Derek. Um, I picked him up yesterday right outside of the high school. At Concordia, he wanted to come back with me um, to kind of hang out during the stay-at-home orders. Um, he's kind of like my best friend, and he's keeping me company. And I promise I'll bring him back as soon as as soon as this is over, and I can come back to work. Um, but he did. He does have a lot of pictures um, still that he's going to be posting that he took a while back. But for now, he's just maybe going to stay at home. But he has been taking pictures, and he'll be putting those on for you to try to figure out where he's at. Okay, well, you had a scare. I'm sorry, I didn't realize everybody was looking for him. Okay. Well, I guess we found out where he's at. So, thanks, guys. And I guess our mystery solved. Really. So, I guess we found Derek, and I guess he's safe. I mean, Tony probably should have told us that he came and got him. But, I mean, I guess we found him. And he said that Derek still had a lot of pictures that he could send us to show us different places he's been in our county. So, I mean, I guess it's okay, right? I'm really glad that you guys helped me today. I was really worried about Derek, and I'm glad that you guys helped me solve all these puzzles and, and clues and remember all the details because I really should take notes. This was really fun, and I'm so glad that you guys helped me because I never would have found Derek without you guys because that was a lot of clues and a lot of people that we called today. I wonder if I should call Chief Fredrickson and let him know that, that we found Derek, and then I could call dispatch and let them know that I called Chief Fredrickson, and then I could call Washington to let him know that I called Chief Fredrickson and the dispatch because then they would all know. Do you think I should call them all? Because I think that they would want me to tell them, right? Hmm. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. I'm just really glad that we found Derek and I'm really glad that you guys helped me. So thank you very much. And I hope that you guys all have your blue on today because what is today? 
What is today, Nikki? Blue day. It's blue day! So I hope you have some blue on. And if you don't, you better get some blue on. And then send us some pictures. Send Nikki some pictures. Send pictures on our Facebook. Text us. And we will post them. But today is blue day. And we are so excited. And the rest of the month is Child Abuse Prevention Month. And we will hope to have continued activities. But today is blue day. So, thank you guys so much, and bye!